What's happening YouTube? This is Brian916. Thanks for tuning in and welcome back to the channel. So as you can see here, we're doing a 370 and snap-on tools versus 370 and Mac tools. As you guys know, I just did a 370 uh, in snap-on versus 370 and Tekton uh, not long ago. And I also did 370 and snap-on versus 370 and Harbor Freight. So check those videos out if you haven't. But today, we're going to do 370 and snap-on tools versus 370 and Mac. As you can see, this box is not that big, so it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get too many more tools compared to the 370 and snap-on. So in this particular experiment, it's gonna be a little bit different, uh, being that Snap-on and Mac tools are pretty similar in price and quality. What I decided to do was to buy exactly the same thing that I bought from Snap-on, uh, but in Mac, and let's see who came out cheaper. So let's open this box up, take a look. All right, guys, so let's start here with the Snap-on receipt. Uh, you can see that I, I purchased uh, these tools a couple years back. Um, this is everything in the order uh, that came up to our uh, $374.73 total. And so this is what I purchased. Uh, I got a 16 ounce dead blow uh, ball peen hammer. I got a Phillips screwdriver. Uh, I got a spark indicator. I uh, also got a 3H drive uh, long handle ratchet, the FL80. Uh, I got a flat tip screwdriver as well, and I also have a 3H drive uh, six-point magnetic spark plug socket. So these items came up to $374.73. So the now snap on tools out. that we purchased, uh, one 3H drive FL80 snap on ratchet long handle. Also a 16 ounce dead blow ball peen hammer we got a phillips screwdriver and a flat blade screwdriver put those there we got one 5 8 uh, spark plug socket with a magnetic insert and we have uh, one spark tester i actually bought two spark testers if you notice on the receipt uh, that i bought two spark testers and i gave one to des the auto tech so we're gonna set that there. So this is what we got in Snap-on. Like I stated, I bought the same exact tools in Mac Tools. So from time to time, I get comments in the comment sections and emails from people saying, Brian, uh, you could get Snap-on tools much cheaper from the tool truck. They'll give you better deals than buying it online. Uh, I'm very aware of that fact. Uh, you know where else I could get these tools a lot cheaper? I can get them a lot cheaper at a pawn shop or on eBay or maybe someone selling it off Craigslist. That's not the point that uh, we're making here. I want to buy this directly from the manufacturer. We want the MSRP price uh, on these particular tools to be able to make our point. You could always find something cheaper elsewhere, but that's not the point. We want the manufacturer suggested retail price on these tools to be able to make this point. Let's see uh, how much cheaper or expensive Mac was. All right, guys, so now it's time to jump into the Mac tools. Uh, like I explained earlier, I bought the same exact tools as the Snap-on tools. So let's take a look here. We can see our uh, 3H drive. This is a long handle ratchet. This is the price. Uh, I bought one. This is our uh, flat tip and our Phillips screwdriver. Here's the price, one a piece. And then I bought two spark testers for $13.89, same as on the Snap-on receipt. And then also I have uh, two 5.8 spark plug sockets. And I bought two of them, and I'll get into why I bought two of them uh, later on in the video. Uh, also, you see our 16 ounce uh, dead blow ball peen hammer. So here's the everything that I bought in Mac, and here's our total. So you see it came up to 294.32 before tax. Our tax was $25.75. So for the same uh, same exact tools, our total came up to 320.07. So you see we came out $54 cheaper if I would have bought the same exact thing in Mac tools. 
It would have came out a little bit cheaper if I bought only one spark plug socket also, but like I explained, uh, I'll get into why I bought two here in a minute. So anyway, without further ado, uh, let's pull out all the Mac tools. All right, let's get this open. So, so I was kind of surprised that uh, the Mac tools came in just a UPS box, uh, but I wasn't disappointed, just more or less surprised. Uh, so no one really knows uh, what's in this box uh, unless they really read the tag and see that it came from uh, Mac tools, but it's written on there so small on the shipping label that uh, most people wouldn't even recognize it. Whereas the snap-on tools I ordered, uh, those came in a big snap-on box that says snap-on all over the box. So uh, there's more of a chance of those snap-on tools getting stolen. Whereas this is a little more incognito and uh, you know less likely to get stolen. So uh, I did like the fact that they shipped it uh, in sort of an unmarked box, if you will. All right, so let's get everything out. So first thing we have here is a, a Mac 3 8 drive a long handle ratchet. So we'll set that there. We also have uh, two uh, screwdrivers, flathead and Phillips. We have one 16 ounce ball peen hammer. Made in the US of A. So I have a 5.8 spark plug socket here. However, this snap-on spark plug socket, this is uh, somewhat of a specialty socket because it has a magnetic insert in there. And so uh, on the Mac socket, I wasn't actually able to find a spark plug socket on their website that had a magnet in it. Although Mac uh, tools do sell magnetic inserts that you could put into your own spark plug sockets, but they won't uh, ship you just one. I mean, I can understand that. So you have to buy a certain quantity of them, and I really had no need to buy like seven or eight uh, inserts. So uh, to compensate, uh, what I did was I bought uh, a swivel uh, spark plug socket uh, to try to compensate for that because this is more of a specialty socket and to be fair to the situation I actually bought two of them and uh, I think this was still cheaper these two than just that yeah, one spark plug uh, the two spark indicators uh, here all right well you were right if you thought that the Mac tools came out cheaper uh, would have been even cheaper uh, if I only bought one spark plug socket but to try to be fair to the situation, uh, I bought two, and two of these uh, 5H drive swivel sockets was still cheaper than that one uh, regular spark plug socket with a magnet. Okay, guys, so the only thing left to do now is to torture test the snap-on and torture test the mat to see which one's better. Now, we're not going to do that because we know better than that. Uh, torture testing a tool doesn't prove if one tool is better than another. Uh, torture testing tools only prove that if you misuse a tool or it's not used properly then it will break. That's pretty much the only thing that you can get uh, from torture testing a tool. Uh, every tool will break if it's misused. So that's really not an accurate way to determine if a tool is better. The only way to really determine uh, the quality of a tool is to actually work with a tool and put it in real world use and that tool holding up time and time again, job after job, uh, that's what's really gonna show you if the tool is a good tool or not. Uh, exerting too much force to a tool in one sitting uh, doesn't necessarily tell you that that tool is a good tool. Uh, like I stated, it, it only proves that uh, if you misuse a tool that it'll break. 
So instead of torture testing tools and just wasting completely good tools, uh, what I'm gonna do is, since I have exactly the same tools over here, uh, minus this one spark plug socket and this one uh, spark tester, I'm gonna give this away here to some subscriber. I think that that would be a much better usage of these tools uh, than to just break them uh, to see which one's better. Uh, we both know that these are trusted tool brands and we both know that uh, they're solid tools and they'll hold up. So there's, there's really no reason to destroy them. So if you wanna see how you can win these tools, uh, I recommend that you stay tuned for the next video. This is Brian916. Thanks for tuning in. See you on the next one.